Okay, today we're going to do 8.4, the binomial theorem. So, um, remember that a binomial is just a polynomial that has two terms. So, we're going to just take a look at what happens when we raise it to any power. Um, to do this, we're going to look at Pascal's triangle. So, hopefully you remember this from last year, but um, it starts with a 1, and then the next row is um, made up of two 1s. And then you take those previous terms and add them together. So it starts with a 1 and adds with a 1, but then the previous row helps you to get the next term. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And then in the third row, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then so on. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6. So this is where Pascal's triangle gets formed. Um, so we're going to take a look at these binomials, and we're going to put them to powers, and we're going to see what kind of patterns we know this. So, first of all, um, anything to the zero power we know is 1, okay? And then if you have something to the first power, well, it's just itself. So, x plus y squared, remember that means x plus y times x plus y. So, this is going to give us x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Um, if you remember the formula for a cube, then you can use it here. If not, you would have to do x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. Um, so you get x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. To put it to the fourth power, again, you'd have to take that previous answer and multiply it by x plus y. Or, if you know the pattern, then you can just follow it. So it's x to the fourth plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the fourth. And hopefully you've seen some type of a pattern here. Um, if you take a look at our coefficients of these binomial expansions, you should notice that they correspond with the rows of the Pascal's triangle. Okay, so like if you take a look at um, row 3, you'll see the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. Well, look at our coefficients of our expansion, 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay? Um, so here's some observations. In each expansion, there's n plus 1 terms. So there, this was the row 0 or the 0 power, we got 1 term. 1 power, 2 terms. 2 power, 3 terms, and so on. Um, coefficients follow the pattern of Pascal's triangle. Uh, these coefficients are classified as binomial coefficients, and to find them, you can just use the binomial theorem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply this rule, okay? And to do that, we're going to use Pascal's. So we're going to write out the expansion using Pascal's triangle. So the first thing you want to do is think about the row that you're in. So whatever power it is, that's the row. So we're in row 4, so now you want to think about the coefficients of row 4, which are going to be 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Now, if you memorize like the first four rows, you can, you know, derive the rest of the triangle by just adding those previous terms together. So now what's going to happen is you're going to define your x and your y. So x, in our case, is our first term, which is 2x, and y is 3. Okay? You also want to keep the um, sign of whatever is in front of it. So this was a positive 3, so notice I wrote a positive 3 here. So now what happens is you start out with your x to the 4th power. So we're going to start out with 2x to the 4th. Now every single one of our x's is going to be descending in power. Every single one of our y's is going to be ascending. So here it's like you have y to the 0, okay? you also have that coefficient of 1 there. So I'm just following the rules of Pascal's. So then the next coefficient is 4, so I have a 4. My x is to the next power below it, so that's going to be cubed, and then my y is ascending, so I'm going to have y to the first. Oh, but you know what, I made a mistake here. Because remember, our y is actually 3 in this case. So we're going to plug back in 3. So I have 3 to the 0 here, and 3 to the first here. So then I go to my next term. I use the coefficient, which is 6. My x term is descending, so it was to the power of 3, now it's to the power of 2. And then my y term is ascending, so I have 3 squared here. 
then I go to the next coefficient, 4. My x should be to the first power now, and my y should be to the third. Then my last term is going to be 1, and then it's going to be x to the power of 0, and y to the fourth. And now once you've done that, then you have to just go through and you have to simplify, okay? So you got to think about um, 2 to the fourth is, let's see, 16. So 16x to the fourth here by the time we multiply by this one and this one. Plus um, 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 8 is going to give us 96. So 96x cubed. And then the next term is going to be plus... Um, 4 times 6 is 24, 24 times 9 is like 240 minus 24, so 216, 216 x squared. Um, the next term, we're going to have uh, 27 times 8, that gives us 216 x to the first power. Uh, this term is 1, and then we have 3 to the fourth which is 81. And there's your expansion. Now normally, if you didn't use the binomial theorem or you didn't use Pascal's triangle, you would have to um, do 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, you know, times 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, which would take you a while, okay? So I'm going to let you try this one on your own, and I'm just going to give you the answer now. So um, you can just pause the video and try it and see how you do. You should get um, this answer. Remember we want it in standard form, so we want it descending in terms. Um, make sure that you reorder it once you figured it out. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the binomial theorem. So the binomial theorem is NCR. And we're going to talk more about this as we get it further into probability, but um, for now we're going to know the formula. So it's N factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, okay? Now n is the row number, and r is the term number. So if you look at example 2a, it's like 9c2 is how you would say that. Um, it's row 9, and you're choosing the second element. So n is 9, and r is 2. So then you're just going to plug it in. So I have 9 factorial over 9 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Now you can do this in the calculator. You can simplify it by hand. It's your choice. Um, here I get 9 times 8 times 7 factorial because looking at this 9 minus 2, I'm going to have a 7 factorial here. I want to figure out a way to match that up. So I have 7 factorial times 2 factorial. My 7 factorials cancel. That's going to leave me with 72 divided by 2, which is 36. Okay? Now, the calculator will do this for you. Okay? If you um, go to math and then arrow over to probability, you'll see that NCR option. It's option number 3. Okay? Now, you have to type in the row number first. So, let's go ahead and try this on the calculator. So, we're going to do 11. And then we want NCR. So we're going to go math, probability, option 3. And then we're going to have 11, C, and then 4. And we're going to get 330. Now that's much faster than plugging it into the formula and simplifying. Okay, you can use the calculator on the next test, so definitely you're going to want to use it to your benefit. But I'm going to ask you to show the formula at, on some of the questions by hand, too. So you're going to have to know how to do both. So either you can plug it in. So in this case, n equals 8, r equals 0. We have 8 factorial over 8 minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial. Well, in this case, 
8 factorial and 8 factorial are going to cancel. And remember, 0 factorial is the special case where you get 1. So our answer here is 1. If I would have typed into the calculator 8C0, then I would get 1. Okay. So you have to know how to do both things, using the calculator and using um, you know, the formula and plugging it in. Now, sometimes you don't need the whole expansion, like what we just did before with um, expanding that binomial. You needed the whole thing, right? You needed the expression. So sometimes they only want a specific term. So when that's the case, you have to use um, this formula. So it's mcr times x to the n minus r times y to the r. Um, the other thing is, I guess we should have memor or highlighted this one, right? Because you need to memorize that. Those won't be given to you. Um, okay, so because it is the r plus 1 term, r is 1 less than the term you need. So you need to remember that. Um, we are going to go 1 less than the term that we actually need. Okay, so find um, the fifth term in the expansion for this binomial um, expansion. So to do 2x plus 1 to the 9th, that would take us a long time. So you don't want to waste your time actually having to expand the whole thing. Instead, you can use the formula to find it. So we want to identify all of our pieces. So the row number is um, the power. So n is 9. Okay, now we want the fifth term, but r has to be 1 less than the fifth term. So we're going to have 5 minus 1, so 4. Okay, so now we're going to do 9C4. And now we have to think about what is x and what is y. So x, remember, is your first term. It's 2x in this case. And y is a positive 1. So now we're just going to plug it in. So x, so 2x to the n minus r, 9 minus 4, times y, which is 1, raised to the power of r, which is 4. And then we have to simplify. So we can do 9c4 in the calculator, and then we can do 2x to the fifth times, you know, 1, so that part goes away. So we're going to type in 9 math probability ncr 4, so 9c4, and then we can just do um, times, you know, 32, or you can separate them and simplify it in two steps. So 126 times 32x to the fifth, and then 126 times 32 gives us 4032. So if you were to expand this using the ninth row of Pascal's, the fifth term in that expansion would be 4032x to the fifth. Okay? All right, so this one's worded a little bit different. Okay, it says find the coefficient. So now we're only looking for the number, okay, of the term x to the fifth, y to the sixth, in the expansion of 2x minus 5y to the eleventh power. So think about what's going on here. When I do this, I think about, well, what term really is that? So I'm going to kind of lay it out here for us. So x to the 11th would start us out, because remember, your x term is going to be descending in power. So then you would have x to the 10th, x to the 9th, x to the 8th, x to the 7th, x to the 6th, x to the 5th. So this is the term we're looking for. So now I'm just going to count how many there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm really looking for the seventh term. So you have to understand the wording here and think about how those powers descend. So now I can find what I need. So I can see n is 11. r then is going to be 7 minus 1, which is 6. Um, x, in this case, is our first term, which is 2x. And y is a negative 5y now. Okay, remember, you keep the sign in front of it. Okay, so we're going to plug it in. So I have 11C6 times 2x to the 11 minus 6 power times my y, which is a negative 5y, and I have to raise that to the power of r, so 6. So this one I'm definitely going to do in the calculator. I know that I'm going to get that x to the 5th, y to the 6th once I simplify those um, and then multiply them together. But what I'm really concerned with right now is only the coefficient. 
So I'm going to do 11 C6. Okay. Um, oops. Air out of that. Okay. And then I'm going to raise 2 to the power of 5 once I do that subtraction. And then I'm going to multiply that by negative 5 raised to the power of 6. So this is a giant coefficient. All right, we get 231 um, million here. So the term would be 231 million um, x to the fifth y to the sixth. But they asked for only the coefficient. So our final answer should be 231 million. Okay, and that's it.